got ran through by 101 men and my eyes are still recovering from all the bodily fluids that went in them. <laughs> all right, man, look, so, you know, I, the stuff that you see on the Internet, sometimes it makes you wonder, like, is this is this is this reality? Is this the is this the actual world that we live in or is this like a twilight zone or is it actually people that's just crazy in the mind like this? Uh, the video we're going to uh, do a reaction to today is it's this lady. I think she's in the UK and she does like a uh, like an actual vlog on TikTok of her just basically getting ran through uh, her performing or having trains ran on her is the most insane stuff that I, I've seen. And it's just insane how she treats it like like it's, it's like it's normal. Um from getting her hair done and doing press releases and doing, you know, a, a day in the life of type vlogs. It's just, it's just insane to me that, uh, that there's actually people out here that, that live like this. Like I'm, I'm not judging nobody, but it's just crazy. And then this be the same type of woman that say, I can't find a man that, that wants to be with me or I, I can't find a man that wants to love me. But you're giving your body away to a complete set of strangers. I mean, as you will see once we get in the video, I mean, it's complete randoms lining up to take their turns with this lady. And she just, I'm talking about getting just pounded on. Now, I edited that part out. That stuff, that part's not on there. But uh, I'm going to leave her uh, TikTok uh, information down in the description if you guys want to go check her videos out. Um, None of the X-rated stuff is on there, but the the whole day and life stuff is on there. But uh, I don't know, y'all. Y'all just going to have to take my word for it. And uh, let's get right to it and tell me what you guys think. Day in the life of a mattress actress. So today I've got a podcast to do. It's all the way. And what's crazy, she calls herself a mattress actress. So if you put two and two together, you kind of know what that means. In Manchester. So I'm up bright and early today and getting ready for it. This one I'm going to wear, so jumpsuit. Also trying to get into the habit of wearing heatless curls because my hair it just feels so fried. But you never really know how they're going to come out. So fingers crossed. What's going on up there? What do we think? I think it needs a little bit of hairspray maybe. Into Manchester, I've got to take her to doggy daycare first, and then I also need to quickly go. So, from the video, she seemed like a normal person until you get further into the video, then she reveals what she actually do, does for a living, and it's just like I said, it's just crazy. Get tested, um, so it's ready for tomorrow because I have a shoot. But look how insane these roses are. That must be like 500 quid's worth of roses. I mean, they're, sorry, they're not mine, they're my neighbors. It just wasn't in, so they got delivered to me. But look, like, in comparison to my hand, I, whoa, that is a lot of roses. She's one lucky girl. Sorry, that might have been a massive invasion of privacy, but I just have to show it. That's so beautiful. I'm just packing a little bag to take to Manchester with me. I've just got a load of snacks in there, um, and I'm just going to take my makeup stuff and my diary to be able to just do a little bit of work on the train. I think I'm ready. Ready for daycare. Excited. Come on, then. I'm just off to quickly get tested uh, before my train now. Uh, here we are. I'm absolutely fighting for my life in that Uber. Why do you drive so random and drive so like stop, 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 start? Like now, it's good that she, you know, what I'm saying that she she has SCD tests done or whatever. But just the fact that what she's doing it for and the event that's about to happen for her to go get tested is just man, I. I don't know. Bro. They're putting the brake on the same time they're putting the exhaust on. What is going on? I'm just trying to fix some of my makeup. <laughs> 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 so basically, I've designed this podcast all together. Hello, whereabouts are you? Podcast done. I'm just about to do some street interviews and then we're right. heading home. Finally, made it home from Manchester. It's about. 12 yeah, she's in the UK. Morning. So today is the day where I get run through by a hundred guys. And the, the she just has no shame in her game. Like she says that so normally. Morning, guys. This is a day that I'm about to get ran through by a hundred guys. She says it's so normal. Like at first I thought this was all cap, but then I actually did some research, and this is actually a le legit thing. Like if you really do some research, you can actually find the video of her getting ran through 
having a train ran by a hundred plus guys it's just absolutely insane how many condoms i have for fuck's sake now again all many can't order in the video good thing she does uses protection but still condoms break stuff happens this is all i'm gonna do with my hair and makeup today just a bit of bronzer and a bit of blush i'm running a little bit late i think but we'll be totally fine because the boys can't start without me oh looking too bad i'm almost there now we have to a little bit of a late start but that's fine i've got time to make it back up how are you doing? Oh, <laughs> How's it going so Good. far? How many are we on? Only eight. Eight guys? Only eight. Eight guys. Are you enjoying yourself? Yeah, I am actually. Bro, y'all yeah, thought I was capping. Look, they are le actually lined up, waiting their turn. First group scene done. That was a lot, a lot of fun. Um, and now I'm on to number 16. 27 p.m. about I'd say, I think about 70 people through. This is what the room is looking like. Not in the best state. Um, we've kind of got things everywhere. <sighs> Someone brought me a rose. Oh my God, I forgot to vlog this. Someone bought me a fucking rose. He was the sweetest boy ever. Apologies that this vlog ends very abruptly here, but after being ran through by 101 guys for 14 hours straight, I just conked out after i finished Same. got ran through by 101 men and my eyes are still recovering from all the bodily fluids that went oh in oh my god you might know me as the girl oh who's been ran through by 101 guys all in one day now here's a little part two to the logistics of the day with the guys we actually did it in a very orderly fashion um i had one security guard at the door checking ideas making sure that obviously of age and who they say they are and the crazy thing, she's not she's not a bad looking woman. It makes you wonder like what happened in her life that made her decide to, to have choices like to, to do stuff like this. Like again, I'm not you know what I'm saying, I'm not downplaying anything she's doing, but it just I would just like to have a conversation with someone that's in this type of business and just ask them like what happened in your life to make you wanted to get into this business and and just to the mind state you have to be in to say, you know what, wake up one morning or whatever, plan to say, you know what, I'm going to have a train ran on me by 100, 101 guys in however long it takes. And just like, what, what are you trying to accomplish? Are you, what, like, what are you, what is your goal? Ella? I mean, I can understand it. Maybe it's money. I, I don't know. Cause there's no way that you're getting satisfaction after having a hundred penises in, in you non-stop for 14 hours at some point the pleasure is not even there like what is like what is the point of you doing this is what i want to know and i have four staff members just making sure the guys are okay they're fed hosting also obviously taking photos of their ideas she making sure they fill out all the paperwork properly um and you know they're of sound mind and can consent to this and then I just honestly stuck to the bedroom and was there for about 14 hours. I'm pretty sure I only came out once for one shower out the whole day. Um, and I had another security guard outside my door just making sure I was safe and everything. Now, like I said in the last part, I gave the guys five minutes to film with me at the start. But honestly, it was taking so long for them to come in, have a little small talk with me, take their clothes off, get on the bed, make themselves comfy and start filming that it was just taking up so much time because obviously after they had finished, they would clean up and chat to me, take some photos. It was just taking way too long. So we ended up narrowing that down to about two minutes in the end. Even though we brought down the time limit, we still ended up finishing about four hours late. We finished at 11 p.m. at night. It took me 14 hours to get through that many guys, which now I think about it, it's kind of insane. <laughs> and what was even more insane, I wasn't even sore down there. But obviously, a little bit sore, but like I could stand, you know, I was kind of fine. I feel like I was made up for this. I mean, maybe it's just because I'm used to industry guys who are obviously a lot bigger. Head to part three for the rest of the details. Finally just got all my tests back and no, I don't have cup. They're all negative. So I'm So she had an STD test done after the fact and I guess she was, I guess she was wanting to know and she was curious if, if she has something, which is insane. Like, if you're going to do this and 
you're going to if you're going to do this, you would think that you would took every measure you could to be safe. I mean, I guess people will there could be guys that would have just wanted to have a chance with her that will lie and, and, and fake documents, I guess. I don't know. But the fact is, I want to know how long this how long did she wait to have this these tests done? Because, you know, some STD don't show up instantly. Sometimes it takes a minute for them to show up. So I want I'm curious how long it took her before she had this STD test done after having a hundred guys clap through her. Back to filming tomorrow, back to work. Can you believe I've been here five right days and it. haven't bonked one person yet? So unlike me. So I don't really have a day in the life video for you today because I have spent the majority of my day trying to organize a video that I've been trying to film for so long now. To paint the picture, there's one of me and a lot of men. Um, and it gets very messy. I mean, looks to make a little bit like this. <laughs> if you want to get involved, head over to my Twitter um, and reply to my post there because I'm honestly trying to get as many men involved in this video as possible. I feel like this is going to be a dream come true for me. <laughs> so on Saturday, I got run through by 101 guys. Now, I've had a lot of backlash <laughs> so far about it and I've seen some of the videos and I see your side, like I am not trying to encourage other girls to be doing that, like if they don't want to and feel like they have to do that. But my side is like, I'm just a girl trying to enjoy myself, trying to have fun, trying to make some content for you all, you know, um, trying to get my bag. Like this is fun to me. This is what I enjoy. Did she say get, get a bag? So it is. All this for some money, man. That's crazy. No one is forcing me to do this. And I feel like we're going back in time to where women are getting shamed for being a slusser. When I thought that's what we were trying to get away from. So a lot of people believe I don't have a father. My dad is actually stood right in front of me, aren't you, dad? I certainly am. <laughs> and I have a question for you that many people have asked. Um, what do you think about my work? I'm more than happy if you're happy, and I know you are happy. And also, both me and your mum are really, really <laughs> proud of you. Aww. That's so sweet. Right, guys, let's And we your love answer. you very much. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Last week, I did 101 guys. Now, this was just the warm up because in February, I'm going to be the first person ever to reach four digits of guys all in one day. Yes. 1,000 guys. Now this is going to be a ticketed event, so make sure you follow for more details. I want you to be a part of this. <sighs> what the fuck did I just watch? Bro, that's insane. And then the fact that her parents are giving her... I mean, I understand you, you, you support your kids and what they do, but ain't no way in hell if I had a daughter or even a son... They come to me and say, yeah, hey, Pops, I'm about to have sex with 100 people. Are you happy for me? Fuck no. Hell no. No, I'm not happy for you. Dude, that's insane. Like, you, I understand this day and age where, you know, sex sells, but this is, like, over the top. This is, like, beyond selling whatever you want to call it. This is over the top. But uh, I don't know. I Maybe her mom and dad's in the same business or used to be in the same business, but there's no way in hell that I'm going to agree with my daughter and tell him, oh, yeah, uh, I'm fine with you doing this. If you're happy, I'm happy. They're probably reaping the re awards of her being ran through. But pfft, like you just heard her say, 100 wasn't enough. Now she's trying to attempt 1,000, bro. That that pfft, that thing down there is about to be beat to death. That thing is going to be wore out. And this will be the same woman saying later on in her years, because once it's on the Internet, it, it's, it ain't, it's, it, it, it's out there. This is going to be the same woman you're going to see saying, I, I don't know, I can't find anyone that's, that wants to be with me and blah, blah, blah. No one wants to take me serious. No one is going to take you serious after you just got done having 100 guys ran through you in one set, and now you're about to attempt a 1,000? Crazy. Uh that's all I got to say on this video. But like I said, some of the most insane stuff that you see on, on the Internet, you just got to ask yourself sometimes, like, is this 
the world we live in is this reality, but apparently it is. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments down below. Turn on your notifications. Turn on, uh, hit that subscribe button. I'm just curious what you guys think about the video. Like, do you guys think this is crazy? Do you guys think this is normal? Or do, or do you guys have any reason of why someone would, besides money, why somebody would stoop to this type of position and, and, and perform something like this, knowing that it's just, I don't know, detrimental to your health? I don't know. But uh, that's all I got to say. See you guys in the next video. All right.